Hey guys, what's up? I'm Shawnee and this is Social Anxiety Confessions. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode. So if you're new here, my name is Shawnee. I have a series on my channel called Social Anxiety Confessions. I started this series over five years ago when my social anxiety was way worse than it is now. I officially like overcame my social anxiety a few years ago, like around three years ago, but I am still continuing the series because there's so much to talk about on the topic of social anxiety and specifically selective mutism, which I grew up with selective mutism. So yeah, there's still so much more to talk about on t this topic. I've like connected with so many different people like you who like can relate and struggle with this. And there's so much that I'm like experiencing now as I continue to grow as a person and continue to build my confidence and my social skills that yeah, I'm just, obviously I wanna continue this series. So guys, I'm back with another episode because guys, oh my God, this is such a big topic. I'm really excited to talk about this. A few weeks ago, I went to a job interview. This is a really big deal for me. So I don't know, maybe like five years ago, I uploaded a video on this channel called Job Interviews Make Me Sick. Basically, five years ago, I had a job interview and just, the idea of going really, really, it made me so anxious and so scared and I was so terrified because of my social anxiety. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about job interviews and why I hate them. I've been to about five job interviews in my life. Every time I've gone to these job interviews, one, I get really, really sick and nervous the night before. And then the day of, that sickness and nervousness is like taken to the next level and I feel like I'm gonna die. The idea of going to a job interview was just terrifying to me back then. But I went at the time and I ended up getting hired at this job in 2015 when my social anxiety was still pretty bad. And I remember like starting in this work environment and I just felt so uncomfortable and so anxious it wasn't the right fit for me i ended up not even staying for two weeks i don't even know if i stayed for one week at this job for different reasons my social anxiety got the best of me i was just too anxious in that environment i didn't really mesh well with the co-workers they just had a completely different vibe than me and i remember i just always had this constant feeling like when i'm in a job like that i was just scared that i'm like never going to be doing enough for some reason, that thought made me anxious and just the idea of feeling like I could never do enough and like, oh my God, am I doing enough? Am I doing a good job here? Just made me anxious. And anyway, I did not end up staying at that job. And that was kind of like my first, I don't know how to say this, like normal, typical job experience. And since then, during my time in LA, I have not had a like, typical, typical job like that since that bad experience. And before that, I hadn't really either because I'd been in college and stuff and like I went on a music tour and I just hadn't really needed that. But like from that bad experience in 2015 until now, I haven't had a typical job. So I'm an actor, I live in Los Angeles, I'm a gig worker and a freelancer. So I make fine money doing that and I haven't needed to have like a typical nine to five or like a typical job where you clock in and out, I guess, working for a company or a corporation. I've just been a gig worker and a freelancer. So about a month ago, gigs kind of slowed down for me and I just decided, I think I wanna try getting a part-time job where I just work like two or three days a week, really short shifts. And just to add an additional source of income into my life temporarily or I'll see how it feels and how long I want to stay so I just like kind of made this decision so as I started this job search process I remember I like wrote down the qualities I was looking for in a part-time job I'll just kind of share them with you guys in case you're interested I wrote down that I wanted something where it was one to three shifts a week so I already have like all this other stuff going on so I didn't need too many shifts I didn't want too many shifts so I wrote down one to three shifts a week, um, short shifts around five hours, because long story short, a few years ago I had a surgery and I just can't be on my feet for as long as I could before my surgery. So I was looking for shifts around five hours, something where I can take sitting breaks or you know have the opportunity to sit sometimes if I need to. A fun working environment, friendly coworkers, located in downtown Hollywood, Silver Lake or Echo Park. And I was thinking it could be fun to work at like a cocktail bar, 
um, because I do love that environment or a coffee shop because I do have barista experience. I did a barista training program back when I lived in Seattle, like in 2014. I ended up getting an interview for a position that is front of house and I would be a barista slash like cashier. So I got my first job interview in a really, really long time. This time around, everything was so different, guys. Back in 2015, my social anxiety was so bad and the experience of just getting the interview, preparing for it, going, was just so nerve wracking for me. This time around, I was still a little nervous, but it was like easier for me to talk myself down from feeling nervous. Things I did to talk myself down was basically like, you don't really need this job, you just want it. So I don't need to be stressed, like I don't need it so badly that I need to go in and feel anxious about, oh my God, am I gonna get hired or not? Is this interview gonna go well or not? And not only did I just want it, but there were so many other opportunities that I could go after if this one interview didn't go well. So I just like used these facts to talk myself down from being scared and that really helped going in knowing that if it didn't go well, if I didn't get the job, it would have been totally fine. There are other opportunities. So I went in for this interview. Spoiler alert, I got hired and I work there now. I'm gonna talk about all of that later in the video. But anyway, so I went in for the interview. The coffee shop was totally empty and there was just this one lady behind the counter and she ended up being the manager. You guys know how like certain types of people are just less intimidating to you? As soon as I saw her, I calmed down even more because she's one of those people where, first of all, she was a woman. I feel like that just makes it less intimidating already um, because I'm a woman, you know, she's a woman. And then, you know, just her vibe right off the bat was warm and welcoming and friendly and just less intimidating than I was imagining. And that's really what I, all I could have hoped for so that I can relax and like do my best in the interview. So how the interview went was she asked me a little bit about my like barista experience. I explained to her that I would definitely need a refresher because it's been quite a while and she didn't really seem concerned with that. She asked me a few questions, but then the interview really turned into her basically trying to convince me to take the job and convince me why I I should work there which is definitely not typical I know that's not typical uh, but guys right now like with everything going on in the world I don't know about like everywhere else in the country but in Los Angeles the job market right now is so good everyone's hiring you can basically like get almost any job you want right now entry level and then kind of above entry level jobs no I'm not talking about like other stuff. You can kind of like really be picky right now. She was trying to convince me to take the job. She was saying things like, you know, it's it's usually pretty slow. It does not get busy. It's a really easy job. This is what you'd be doing. She kind of gave me a tour of the restaurant. Basically how it would be if I wanted to work there. <laughs> Once again, I work there now, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But she was basically explaining I would be working front of house by myself, taking orders and making coffee drinks but it's it's so slow there that i would only really be making like one to two drinks a day we also make milkshakes so i'd be doing that and then basically people would order food from me and then there are two cooks that work in the back sometimes just one and then they would make the food once the food is done i just need to pack up the food and then hand it to the customer so basically that would be my job just Packing up food, handing it to the customer, taking orders, and then every once in a blue moon making a coffee drink or a milkshake. And then obviously just maintaining the environment, making sure it's clean, so wiping down tables after people are done eating. And then like sweeping, mopping at the end of the day. She told me I could come back and like kind of watch her work in a few days. I did that. I decided I wanted to give it a shot and that it seemed like an environment I'd like working in. And so I started my training and I ended up taking the job offer and I got hired, guys. I like my new job. It's been maybe a little over a month since I started and I like it. It's so chill. I only have three shifts a week. The shifts are only around five, five and a half hours, which is exactly what I wanted. I get tips, which is really great and helpful um, on top of an hourly rate 
and it is a really easy job like she said she was not just saying that it is a really easy job i love my coworkers. they're all great my manager the one who interviewed me she's super friendly we have great conversations when we're um there at the same time um i feel like i can ask her for help whenever i need help i went through a few days of like training and then i was on my own and now i work front of house all by myself and it is just me and then like usually one or two chefs in the back making food and as an introvert and an, a very independent worker an independent person um, that's great for me I don't mind being by myself um, and not having someone there to tell me like what to do all the time I just have to be in charge of myself and you know, take charge and know what needs to get done and then do it. Just for so many different reasons, it's been a great fit for me so far. And just the whole experience is so different than that experience I had back in 2015 where I just felt so anxious there, didn't really vibe with the coworkers, didn't really love what I actually had to do with the job, and my social anxiety was still pretty bad at the time. And honestly, that experience made me think every experience would be like that. So this has just kind of taught me, just because you have one bad experience at an interview or one bad experience working at a coffee shop in Los Angeles doesn't mean all interviews are going to be like that and it doesn't mean all jobs are going to be like that or all coffee shop jobs are going to be like that i'm just using an example because i had a coffee shop job and now i do again yeah so like i honestly i let that bad experience influence me for the past few years into not going after another position like that i'm really glad that i decided to try again and put myself out there and show up for this interview and then like give this job a shot i don't feel anxious there i don't okay now that I've kind of talked a little bit about my <laughs> new job, um, I guess I'll talk about a few like tips I have for you guys when it comes to job interviews and starting a new job. Okay, so the first tip I have for you guys, and I'll kind of make these tips like in the realm of if you struggle with social anxiety, but the first tip I have for you is when you're looking for a job, write down all of the qualities that you want in a job so that you can really find something that is the best fit for you because you're gonna feel better about the whole thing from the interview experience to like starting the job. You're gonna feel less anxious about it if you go into it knowing that this job is something that's gonna be like the right fit for you. So like make a list of qualities and things you need in a job and things you want in a job like how many shifts do you want? What kind of working environment do you think would make you the happiest or the most relaxed? What kind of place do you want to work at? Do you want to work for a major corporation? Do you want to work for a small business? Do you want to work for something where you have to like use your brain and think a lot? Or do you want to do something more mindless or not mindless, but something where you don't really need to think too much. Like at my job, I would consider it something where I don't need to think too much, which is what I was looking for. I have too many other things in my life that I do have to think about, like my acting career takes a lot of mental energy. YouTube takes a lot of creative energy. My freelance business, so there are things where I do need that mental energy and that creative energy, but like in a part-time job, I wouldn't want that. I would want something simple, easy where I don't have to use a lot of mental energy on it. I just show up and then I leave and then I don't have to think about it when I leave. But maybe you're not looking for something like that. So like think about what you're looking for. What are your goals? Is this a company you want to grow in or is this another side source of income and you're not really thinking you'll stay there long term? My second piece of advice, I guess, would be when you get your job interview, don't overwhelm yourself. Like if you struggle with social anxiety, maybe don't put more than one interview in one day so that you can just focus on one at a time because you'll probably be pretty nervous going into the interview. It's okay, it's normal to be nervous. But once you have your interview, you have the date and time, I would do a few things. One, I would do some research on possible interview questions they might ask you related to the job. I would do some research on the company. I would practice answering some interview questions that you think they might ask. Because if you practice, you're gonna feel a lot more relaxed about the whole thing you're gonna feel a lot more prepared and all this is gonna help you feel less anxious. So research the company, 
practice interview questions, look up like generic interview questions online, I did that, and practice your answers, and maybe even write some notes in your phone that you can look at if you need to. Ultimately, just preparing everything you can before the last minute is also gonna help you feel less anxious and less stressed out. So maybe like the day before, picking what you're gonna wear, make sure you have your resume ready, planning out how much time you need to get there, how you're gonna get there, and then like on the day of the interview, show up early so you don't have to be rushing because that will definitely add to the stress if you're rushing. Show up like 15 minutes early, you don't have to go in, but maybe stand outside, take a few deep breaths, try and relax a little bit, maybe go over some of the interview questions again in your head, and just take deep breaths <laughs> outside, and then maybe like five minutes before, go inside when you're doing the interview just i know it's scary it's so scary but also like have a talk with yourself beforehand like i did and find facts about the situation that can help calm you down and stop yourself from psyching yourself out facts like there are other interviews i promise you there will be other interviews if this one doesn't go well there are other opportunities out there this person doesn't have to like you if they don't it's not the end of the world there are other opportunities i'm sure you're a really likable person though so i'm sure you don't have to worry about that though not everyone's gonna like you once you're actually in the interview just go through the motions go in introduce yourself shake their hand smile and just Take more deep breaths as it's starting. Be grounded and present through the whole thing. And all you can really do is be there and just try your best. Calmly answer the questions that they're asking you. And oh, another thing you can do is prepare one or two questions to ask them because they'll usually ask if you have questions too. Those are the tips I have for you job interview wise. Starting a new job, any advice on that? I would just say don't have to accept any job offer on the moment. You can always say you want to think about it or that you would like to come in and shadow the person, shadow an employee to see how it feels to be in that environment. You can always say you would need to try working there for a week, a trial period. You don't have to feel the need to accept any job offers right away. Yeah, I think shadowing and seeing how the work environment feels for you probably is a really good idea and it honestly will probably help calm a lot of your nerves and it'll probably really help you figure out if you want to work there or if you really don't want to work there those are just a few tips i have hopefully they were helpful yeah i just kind of wanted to share with you guys that i started a new part-time job and it's going well and i just thought it would be fun to kind of update you guys and talk about it in the sense of like how far I've come social anxiety wise when it comes to job interviews and working in a new job environment. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video. Check out my channel for more social anxiety confessions. Don't forget to subscribe guys. Hit the notification bell if you wanna be uploaded want to be uploaded wow <laughs> hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when i upload a new video give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it comment below say hi i love it when you guys comment and i will see you again very very soon bye